what's up everybody welcome back to mendes tv and for this video i'm gonna be taking a look at some quarterbacks from college and free agency so first let's take a look at this article from kyle stackpole and he has his mock draft in this too so it's 2022 nfl mock draft five quarterbacks going first round as the nfl combine performances boost stock of prospects so i'm guessing they had a good combine so i'm interested to see what teams he has um taking a quarterback in the first round Let's take a look. And before I start, I just want to let you guys know I really don't follow college football like that. So most of these players, I'm not going to know. This is where my research starts. <laughs> so first up, the first pick, the Jaguars. He has them taking a old lineman from Alabama, Evan Neal. He has them as the second position rank and sixth overall prospect. I guess he shot up. And then he put Trent Baalke said the Jaguars are open for business. I did hear that too. The, uh, they don't mind trading that first round pick. Maybe they trade down and get some more picks in return. So I wouldn't mind that. But there won't be any takers. Instead, Jacksonville invests its protection for Trevor Lawrence, which is smart. So Evan Neal is 6'7", 340 pounds. And he moves as he's 75 pounds lighter. Damn. You plug him in that old line, maybe they got some business. Then the second pick, Aiden Hutchinson, the edge rusher. He went to Michigan, so he's going to be right at home. Uh, I don't know, an edge rusher for the Lions? I mean, if Hutchinson's the real deal, is he, and he's supposed to be second overall pick, I just think it's time to get the quarterback, bro. You got some good pieces. I'm kind of interested to see what quarterback goes first and what position. And then for the Texans, they take an O-lineman too, Akeem. He's 6'4", 320 from NC State. Then let me see what he put for them. Whether the Texans decide to trade or keep two-time two Pro Bowl or Lemmy Tunsil, they need much more talent. Yeah, they do. And um, he finished the season 27th in ESPN's pass block win rate. I mean, Davis Mills is the future, bro. I've been on that bandwagon. <laughs> I really like Davis Mills a lot. Um... Texans, they should be able to get a nice haul for Deshaun Watson whenever that happens. So the future should be pretty good for the Texans if they don't mess it up. And it starts with no line. Got to start with that. Then the fourth pick, you got Kyle Hamilton from Notre Dame. Safety, 6'4". Damn, a safety this early? He's the best safety and third best overall prospect, man. Hamilton is a much different player than Jamal Adams. He's a jack of all trades, so you could probably tackle pretty good, right? That's what I'm guessing. I'm going to try to remember these names, so when I watch the combine highlights, I'll get to know who they are. And damn, Giants select an O-line, so that's three O-linemen in the top five. Charles Cross from Mississippi State, 6'5", 310. The Giants must do a better job protecting Daniel Jones. And Jeffrey Cross to compliment Andrew Thomas on the edges will be a big step forward. I'm still on the fence about Andrew Thomas, bro. I thought they they could have got better pick from that. For real. So then Daniel Jones, I don't believe in him either. I, I think it just you need a complete rebuild for the Giants. Get rid of Saquon and start over, man. This, it's not working. And then pick six, Kenny Pickett, first quarterback off the board. So he's uh, he went to Pittsburgh. Also, he went to Pittsburgh? Ooh. Maybe the Steelers move up, try to get him, bro. I can see that. So he's 6'3", 220. He has 8.5-inch hands, the smallest in NFL once he's drafted. Damn. So can he pick? I'm going to try to remember it. So when we watch um, the highlights for the best quarterback workouts, we'll see what he has. And then Kayvon Thibodeau. Edge rusher from Oregon, number seven to the Giants. So Giants in this uh, mock draft, they get help in their old line and then they get an edge rusher. Two of the most important positions in all of football, bro. And this guy's ranked first and first. So did he slip? I mean, and all these questions I'm asking you guys because I really don't know. I never follow college football like that. So you guys let me know. And then pick eight, he has the Falcons selecting Ahmad Garner from Cincinnati, 6'2", 188. And prospect ranked 21st. Oh, damn, bro. 
and he's the second ring position so he must have shot up the draft boards if he was the 21st now he's number eight Derek Stingley Jr. enthusiast talk about length, but about his dominant 2019 campaign, but Sauce Gardner. So that's his nickname, Sauce. Locked it down for his entire career at Cincinnati. He did not allow a touchdown and a thousand snaps in coverage. Oh my God. Bro, is this guy a lockdown? <laughs> Combine that elite production with his aggressiveness and confidence from the outside. And that's why the Falcons may garner. The first CB off the board. He sounds sounds pretty good, man. He's got the height, 6'2". And if he's a lockdown and he's aggressive, damn. He might be a really good player. Gotta keep an eye out on him. So, Mod Garner. So, when I look at CBs, I'm gonna see what he ran, too. Here it is, number nine, the Broncos. Another quarterback, Malik Willis. I heard a lot of hype about him. When I'm on Instagram or whatever, you see the highlights. I heard about Malik Willis a lot. So I guess he showed out. So now he's the number nine. And Broncos, it's time to get yourself a quarterback. Drew Locke ain't it, man. Or Teddy Bridgewater. Either try to go out get Aaron Rodgers, which I heard. Or just draft yourself a foundation quarterback that you could take for the next couple of years, man. That's what I would do. And they got themselves a new head coach that knows a lot about quarterbacks, so that could be a good fit. So let's see what he said about Willis. He's not there yet, but it wouldn't be surprising if Willis ended up the draft process as the consensus top uh, quarterback prospect. Perfect. His physical traits are undeniable, and there have been numerous reports about him blowing teams away. I've heard that. He's actually one of the few people I've actually heard about. So Malik Willis. We'll keep an eye on him. Maybe he could be the first quarterback taken. And then number 10, the Jets again. This time they take a wide receiver out of Ohio State, Garrett Wilson. He's 6 feet, 192. Not the biggest receiver. Let's assume the Jets address their interior offensive line issues, okay? And then they get whatever pick they want at receiver. Uh, Wilson would help Zach Wilson. Wilson to Wilson. That's what we're doing, okay. <clears throat> I like Elijah Moore a lot. I think he's going to be a keeper for them. Michael Carter, too. They're going to be really young on the offense, bro. They should just get, like, a, a very veteran defense to counter it. They get the leadership and all that. And I really have high hopes for Zach Wilson. I like, I like the way he plays. So that's the top 10 so far. And with the 11th pick, the commander select Desmond Ritter from Cincinnati, 6'4", 215. Bro, his prospect rank was 55, and now he's the 11th pick. He wants to blow people away. Washington has reportedly contacted every team about quarterback. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard the commanders are trying to get a trade, bro, for a superstar quarterback. It's hard to do, though. So, I guess if that doesn't work out, they're going to get Ritter. Ritter is a proven leader and winner who just dominated the testing portion of the NFL Combine. He endeared himself to Ron Rivera and the coaching staff quickly. Okay, so he shot up. Shot up the draft um, board, bro. And Desmond Ritter, I do know a little bit about him. Just because my bro, uh, Sleepy, who viewer the channel, he wants his Broncos to select Ritter in the first round. So we'll see, bro. <laughs> and then pick 12, Vikings select um, Derek Stingley Jr., a cornerback. Browns get Trayvon Walker. Then the Ravens select Tyler Lindenball. Old lineman from Ottawa. So more protection for Lamar Jackson. I like it. He's been getting hurt, bro. <laughs> Freaking Eagles, bro. They're going to have so many dead picks in the first round. One of them is supposed to be the Colts, too. So, damn. So they select the cornerback, uh, Trent McDuffie from Washington. And an edge rusher, David Ojabo. So they're helping out their defense in this mock draft. And then the Chargers get Jordan Davis. I did see him, bro. I did see him. 6'6", 330. I want to react to his combine tape because I heard he's a monster. So they get him up front. Damn, that would be nice. And then 18, Drake London from USC. Receiver for the Saints. I wonder what's going to happen with Jameis, man. I'll talk about that later. 
And then the Eagles again, number 19. They got so many picks. Traylon Burks, wide right receiver from Arkansas, 6'3. Damn. They do have a lot of like smaller receivers. So if you get a bigger one right here to pair with Devontae Smith and Jalen Rager, bro, man. And you still got Dallas Goddard. I really like this offense a lot. And then the Steelers got the 20th pick. They need to go get themselves a quarterback because I don't think Mason Rudolph is the answer, bro. I just don't know. So Matt Coral is from Ole Miss, 6'2. Then I'll read this one for the quarterbacks. The Steelers avoid having to trade up to get Coral, who must improve his field awareness and decision making, but will have the luxury of a quality supporting cast of skilled players. Yeah, they got all the damn skill players, bro. Deontay Johnson, Claiborne, and then um, and then one of the best running backs already, Najee Harris. That's a lot, bro. So I'm gonna keep an eye on Matt Coral, see if he pops up in this um, video I'm gonna react to right now. So Matt Coral, okay. Then the Patriots get Devin Lloyd, linebacker from Utah. The Patriots would be wise to take Lloyd if he falls outside the top 20. I mean, you know the Patriots, bro. They always find a way to get a really good um, defensive player late in the draft. They just can't really draft receivers. That's the problem. And then 22, the Raiders select Nicobe Dean, linebacker from Georgia. Cardinals get Jermaine Johnson, the second edge rusher from Florida State. And I heard they're not going to bring back Chandler Jones, bro. So that could be his replacement right there. And then the Cowboys, George Karlaftis, Edge from Purdue. If only oh, I've heard that rumor today, bro, that the Cowboys might release Demarcus Lawrence. He don't want to help out the Cowboys and get a pay cut. So we'll see. Demarcus Lawrence, I mean, he's good, but I think he is overpaid. I'm not going to lie. So, so the Bills at 25, they get Jameson Williams from Alabama. Another receiver. So, I mean, they got some older receivers. Emmanuel Sanders, Cole Beasley. Get more younger. And I think Isaiah McKenzie's a free agent. So that's a pretty smart um, play right there to get a receiver. from. He's from Alabama too. Damn. And then right here, they had the Titans. Trevor Penning, O-Lyman. Yeah. That was one of the main issues with the Titans early. That old line, bro. Titan was going down so much. It looked like they got better throughout the whole season, but might as well fix it. He's 6'7", too, so got some size up front. And then the Buccaneers get Canyon Green, old lineman. Bro, I feel like the whole old line is gone already. <laughs> yeah, but let me see. The, the retirement of pro bowler Ali Marpet. So he retired. And they, and they got a lot of other people, too, that are free agents. So then the Packers, they get Devontae Adams replacement because he might be gone, bro. I don't know. I feel like he's going to go to the Raiders for some reason. But if Aaron Rodgers stays, he's probably going to stay, too. I mean, I don't know if they want to pay him. Though. That's the really problem. So Chris Olave from Ohio State. We'll see what he could do if he gets there. And then the Dolphins get Bernhard Raymond, an old lineman from Central Michigan. Uh, they do need to work on that old line. Tua just runs for his life, bro. And it feels like they're trying to stay by Tua because there's they shot down the rumors for Deshaun Watson. So we'll see how that goes. And then 30th pick, KC, Daxon Hill safety. Yeah, that is true. I don't know what's going to happen with the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. So if they bring him back, then they get some more depth at safety. If not, that's his replacement. Thank you. <laughs> the Bengals at 31, they draft the no lineman. They got it, bro. After seeing that Super Bowl, they had it, bro. They could have won it. I mean, I've been hearing a lot of stuff, too. They, they want to get my boy <laughs> Nelson from the Colts. Like, no way, bro. You got to give me Jamar Chase if you want that. But they get the no lineman right there. Uh, they need it. Hopefully, they, uh, they stick with that game plan, bro. <laughs> And then the Lions, they got the last pick. Quarterback Sam Howell, North Carolina. Okay. So if you can't get one early, get one late in the first round. I like it. I don't know what they're going to do with Goff. I really like Goff, to be honest. Yeah, he can sit behind him. No problem about that. So not bad. You guys uh, tell me how you guys feel about this mock draft. Is it accurate? Or does this guy not have any idea of what's going on? <laughs> you guys let me know.
and let me know what player you guys want to draft for your favorite team. Now that we took a look at the mock draft and I have a feeling of the quarterbacks, so you got Malik Willis, Sam Howell, and Coral, even uh, Ritter. So I'm going to see if they pop up here, see if they're worthy of a first round pick. Let's go. So this is Sam Howell from NC. Because I know my quarterback is getting in trouble. What do you think of Howell, Kurt? So he was supposed to go to the Lions, right? Smooth throw. Late first round. DJ Let's see how he throws. Off. I mean, you see it. You know, a lot of these guys and coaches talk about it. Hey, I want to see him in person. I want to see how the ball comes. Destin Crum. Are you a Penn State guy too, Gio? Mm. I love Penn State. Coach Franklin. Hey, that was on the money, bro. I figured that for you. Yeah. I'll be that patient, Steve. You be, you, you be, I gotta get out of this route. I gotta get out of this route. He's ready to throw it. To be he could throw that deep ball, bro. Dustin Crum. Nice. Let's see it. 59. Oh, 59. That is the best one. Wow. He can rip it now. That away the radar. Just <laughs> Future line? <laughs> oh, Kenny Pickett. Here you that. go. Here we go. He runs a straight line and it's a 4 4-6? Six, six? So here's the 40-yard dash for the QBs to see. Group. He gave me a little bit of a Colt McCoy vibe when I watched him. 4-6 four, six flat. 4-6? Four, Damn, bro. These quarterbacks can run. Yard, seven rush touch combine. Three-time captain. Four, five, four five, damn. It's Kyle there Marcus Mariota. See Mariota Lopez, and there's a name that pops right I want to see head. Mariota be a there starter again, bro. I think he could do it. No doubt. And a guy, both guys who want. He might come to the Colts. I wouldn't mind it. But there's other guys I want in front of him. Oh, so here's Ritter throwing it. Real smooth. You know, one of the things I want to watch. I want to see how fast he can get releases a little it. bit wide with his stride, and you can see it impact his accuracy when he can. Oh, yeah, this guy right here. Throwing the ball today. Yeah, and he's it's easy when it comes out of his hands. He looks smooth. Could we be looking at the next quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers? You know, there's there's some I don't know. There's a lot of Kenny Pickett. He was the first quarterback taken in that mock. Nicely done. I want to meet Kenny Does Pickett. Does he have a huge arm? No, he's got plenty. He's got enough to make every throw you need to make. Oh. It's a tight ball. That's a great nice throw. Just right grab now. too. That was a better grab. Wilson. He when can't throw it up Wilson? too yes, high. It was. Your number six overall player in the draft, Garrett Wilson. That was a nice throw. It's good. And be at your disadvantage when you can't run that full speed. Oh, throwing the deep ball. The time. Ooh, that was a nice that was deep perfect. ball. Malik Willis. See his deep ball. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, that's that's beautiful. Damn, bro. That was bro. beautiful. It looks effortless to come out of his hands. I like him so far the most. Call out what that is. That was a dime. That was. He's taking his time too. Oh my goodness. He's taking his time and letting it rip. They can't catch up to him, bro. He's got a cannon. That thing out there. Hopefully that'll be Bailey Zay next time. Or Zap. Hey, we got something in Carolina. Zappy, nice throw. Oh, Zappy. Fans are total package, Kurt. EJ Perry. Here's EJ Perry. Oh, He's got a big arm too, bro. Look at that. I like Here's what, what I've seen with Willis so Trust far, me, though, DJ, the most. Pickett looks good too, though. Beautiful. He's just on the money. So we just reacted to the best workouts from the quarterbacks. I mean, there's a lot of good talent, bro. I like Willis the most, though, what I've seen. It was just a little workout, though, so. Pickett look good too. I like what I've seen from this QB class so far. They all look pretty damn athletic. And they could throw the deep ball. We'll just see where they end up going once the draft is over. Because the team you go to kind of plays a factor too. I mean, a big factor. You got to go in the right situation. Just like Mac Jones, bro. Perfect situation. And he's set up to win. So we'll see where everybody ends up. Now that we've seen the mock draft and we saw the workouts, we got a little sense of what we could expect with this rookie class of QBs. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go to the salary cap. So we can see the free agents. So sitting at number one with, with the most cap space is the Miami Dolphins and it's the Chargers, Jags, Bengals are number four. So got to spend the money in no line, bro. Definitely. The Jets, five, Broncos, six. My Colts sitting at seven, 36 mil. We need some corners, some receivers. And... Uh, Starting quarterback. <laughs> we'll see what we do with uh, Carson. 
Uh, once we go to the free agents, well, I'll tell you who are my top three replacements for him if we decide not to bring him back. Then eight, Seattle. Nine was Washington with 30. Then the rest of the teams have under 30. Pittsburgh at 10. Browns, Panthers, Bears, Buccaneers. Who's last? Ravens, Lions, Texans, 17. And then the league average is 15 million. And these are all the teams that really don't got too much money. Damn. Chiefs, 19. The Ravens, Patriots, 49ers at 22 with only less than 3 mil. Cardinals. And then the rest of the team are in debt, bro. Dang. Get the Bills, 24. Giants are 25? Really? Oh, damn, bro. It was just getting ugly for them. They got to re completely rebuild, bro. Get some of that big contracts. It's not You're not even winning games. Then the Falcons, the Titans really can't do much. But we're going to see a lot of restructure um, of the contracts and all that. We already started seeing it. So we got the Cowboys at 30, negative 21. Packers, negative 29. That's why I don't know if they can bring back Devontae. I don't know if they're going to franchise tag him or what. So damn, bro. I don't know. Then the Saints last, negative 42. They got some big contracts too. I don't know what they're going to do with quarterback. So now that we see all that, uh, let's go to the free agents. So here are the quarterback free agents for this year. And I sorted it by snaps so we can see like players who played the most. Big Ben, he's going to retire. And then Teddy Bridgewater's next after that. Uh, for my Colts, we do need a quarterback. I just, I don't want Teddy, bro. I'm sorry. Andy Don, 34, no. I mean, these are server, serviceable quarterbacks still, though. Jacoby, I wouldn't mind if he comes back, but he's going to be the backup. Tyler Huntley. Okay, Jameis Winston, he's up there, bro, for me. I really want him on the Colts. He looked pretty good with the Saints, so I'll take a shot on Jameis. He's still 28, and he can throw the ball deep. It's just those interceptions are going to kind of make me want to rip my hair out, bro. There's something I'm going to have to deal with. <laughs> Carson's been doing that too, though. But James so far is my favorite. We'll just keep going, though. Trevor Simeon, Tyrod Taylor, Mike Lennon. I also heard Cam Newton might go back to the Carolina Panthers, bro. I was kind of shocked to hear that because he did not play good at all. We got the GOAT, Mike White. <laughs> he played all right with the Giants. I mean, he, those first couple of games, he was lights out with the Jets, bro. Hopefully, he gets another shot. And then Cole McCoy, he should go back to the Arizona Cardinals. He was the perfect backup for Kyler. Because he can step in and still win games, bro. I like Cole McCoy a lot. Then Geno Smith, Tim Boyle, Brandon Allen. Man, this class of free agents, not too good, bro. You can't. There's not too many starters. Blaine Gabber, these are all backups. Brian Hoyer, Kyle Allen. Trubisky's kind of on the bench. I've heard him um, link to the Colts. I don't want Trubisky, man. Not as my starter. I just, I don't know. I'd rather have uh, Winston. But if he comes, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to be mad. We need somebody. Just hopefully it's not him. And then Chad Haney, Josh Rosen. Marcus Mariota, he's probably next up on that list for me. I wouldn't mind him. I, I prefer him over Trubisky. John Warford, Chris uh, Streveler, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and then you got David Blow. I li actually like what I see from David Blow. When the Lions in the preseason, bro, he was lighting it up. Because he could run. And then AJ McCarron, and then Dwayne Haskins. Not too much starters, bro. My favorite so far is Mariota, Winston, and Brissett. Those are the only three pl three players that I wouldn't mind to start. Not too much, though. Kind of like less. I mean, you can find some depth at quarterback. Like Tyrod, he could come in and start. Andy Dalton could start. Bridgewater could start. It's just, I don't know. I'm trying to look for a star, bro. I know it's good. I know it's kind of like a fantasy, but give me Jameis, man. He might go resign with the Saints, though, so I don't know. So those are my top three for the Colts, um, quarterback-wise, who I would want to bring in. If we don't bring in Carson, my number one option still is 
bringing back Carson. Don't give him no big payday. Give him like one to two years, and I'll be fine with that. So, you guys let me know from this list. If you, your team needs a quarterback, who are your top three options? And that should be fun reading those comments. So, the, there it is. Those are the free agents and rookies that are going to probably be in the first round. Took a look at the workouts. This is probably going to be a longer video. But that's the little sense of quarterbacks that could go to your team. If you guys like this video, let me know. So I could go to running backs, uh, receivers, and defenders. And start a new series with this before free agency starts. Thanks for watching.